Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about dividing polynomials. But first, what we're going to do is, let's have a review about the laws of exponents. So I have here the quotient rule, a raised to n divided by a raised to n is equal to a copy the base. We are dividing and we're going to subtract the exponents. So m numerator's exponents minus n, which is the denominator's exponent. For product rule, we have a squared times a to the fifth power, copy the base and add the exponent, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So now here, we have x to the sixth power divided by x squared, that is equal to x to the fourth power, 6 minus 2, that is 4. 15 x to the 8th power divided by 5x to the 5th power. Just divide first the numerical coefficient and subtract the exponents. Copy the base. So that is 3x cubed. And here we are multiplying. So copy the base and add the exponents. So that is x raised to the 8th power. Here, multiplication again. Multiply first the numerical coefficient. So negative 4 times 6. That is negative 24. Then add the exponent. Copy the base x and raised to 10. So negative 24x to the 10th power. So now let's divide here trinomial divided by monomial. So in this case, simply, you're just going to divide each term here by the uh, denominator or the divisor here 2x. 6x cubed divided by 2x, negative 2x squared divided by 2x. Now, if it's, uh, so it's going to be easy for you to see, you can separate those. So you can do it like this. And then the second one, 6x cubed divided by 2x, and then negative 2x squared divided by 2x. It's easy to see the exponents and the letters or the variables here. So you start here, 4 divided by 2, and that is 2, then subtract the exponent. This is applying the quotient rule. So 5 minus 1, that is 4. And then the next one, that is 3x squared. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And then 3 minus 1, understood there is 1 here, that is 2. Then minus x. Why x? 2 divided by 2 is 1, so understood there is 1 here. And 2 minus 1, that is also 1 as exponent here. So this is the final answer. 2x to the 4th plus 3x squared minus x. Now what about this one? We are dividing trinomial by binomial. So in this case, we are just going, we are going to use the long method. Of division just like dividing the usual uh, whole number so this would be the inside this division sign or the dividend and this is the divisor okay so let's do that on the next page so now we have 3x squared minus 2x minus 21 divided by x minus 3 so how are we going to divide this first divide the first term which is 3x squared by x only so 3x squared divided by x you can do it separately if you have hard time like this. Okay, so you can see 3 divided by 1, that is 3, then x, copy, then 2 minus 1. So that is 3x. Okay, then you can put it there. And the next step is to multiply 3x by this whole divisor here. 3x times x, and that is 3x squared. And then this one, 3x times negative 3, that is negative 9x. And then next step is to subtract. Okay, so if you're going to subtract, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend, right? This one, this negative, or the, my, this positive 3x squared here becomes negative, and this one becomes positive. Then proceed to addition. It means this is 0. And this is, this one is negative 2x plus 9x, that is 7x. And then bring down negative 21. Next is to divide 7x only by x again. So 7x, you can do it here if you have a hard time with that. You can do it 7x divided by x. You notice, you can cancel this. So the answer is 7 plus 7. The next, multiply 7 times the whole divisor here. So 7 times x, that is 
7x. And then 7 times negative 3, that is negative 21. Again, subtract. So subtracting means changing the sign of the subtrahend. So this becomes minus and this becomes plus. And then proceed to addition. Therefore, this becomes 0. And this one also becomes 0. The same number but opposite in sign is 0. So that's the remainder, 0. So the quotient now is 3x plus 7. So let's have another example. So I have here 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2x plus 5 divided by 2x plus 2. So first we're going to divide the first term here by, x, by 2x. 2x only. So that is equal to... So you can write like this, 4x cubed divided by 2x, and that is equal to 4 divided by 2, that is 2, and then copy the base x and subtract the exponent because you are dividing 3 minus 1, that is 2. So 2x squared. So that's the quotient here on the first part. Then we have now, uh, we're going to multiply 2x squared to this divisor, 2x and that is equal to 4x cubed. 2x squared, 2 times 2, that is 4. Then x squared times x, x cubed. Also, 2x squared multiplied by, multiplied by 2. So, 2x squared times 2, that is equal to 4x squared. So, plus 4x squared. And then subtract. So, that is, in subtracting, you're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. So, this positive 4 becomes negative 4, and this positive 4 becomes negative 4. So, proceed to addition after changing the sign of the subtrahend. So, 4x cubed plus negative 4x cubed, that is equal to 0. And then, uh, we have here 6x squared plus negative 4x squared, that is equal to positive 2x squared. Then, bring down negative 2x. The next, divide 2x squared by 2x. Okay, so that is equal to x because 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And then x squared divided by x, subtract the exponent 2 minus 1, understood there is an exponent 1, so that is 1. Then multiply this x to 2x and that is equal to 2x squared. And then x times 2 also is equal to to x. And then subtract again, change the sign of the subtrahend, this becomes negative, this becomes negative, and proceed to addition. So you are adding now 2x squared plus negative 2x squared, that is equal to 0. And negative 2x plus negative 2x, that is equal to negative 4x. Next, bring down 5. Here, the last one, the last term. So, divide again negative 4x by 2x. And that is equal to negative 2 only. Because x here understood 1 minus 1, the exponent. If you have hard time, you can write it like this. So, you can easily see the terms. That is 2x. So, you can cancel this one. So, you have now negative 4 divided by 2, and that is negative 2. And then after that, multiply negative 2 times 2x, that is equal to negative 4x. And negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4. And then again, subtract, change the sign of the subtrahend. This becomes negative, this becomes positive. Ah, sorry, this becomes positive, this becomes positive also, and then proceed to addition. So, we are adding now negative 4x plus positive 4x, that is 0, and then positive 5 plus 4, that is positive 9. So, the remainder, there is a remainder of 9 here. Okay? So, now, that remainder 9, you can write now the quotient as 2x squared here, 2x squared plus x minus 2. 
and we have 9 over the divisor which is 2x plus 2 just like we are dividing whole number the remainder divided by the divisor so that's the final answer so that's how you're going to divide polynomial by binomial so that's all for this video and thank you for watching see you in the next one bye Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.